this video, we're going to take a look at using the portal material when rendering with Octane for Maya. And for this video, I'm using the Cantina Portal 01.MA scene. The purpose of the portal material is to increase the efficiency of rendering uh, when you have light coming from a source outside of a room, like through a window or something like that. So it can help reduce noise and increase the efficiency of rendering. It only works when you are rendering with the past tracing or PMC render kernel, so it does not work with direct lighting. Uh, if we take a look at the perspective view of the scene, I have uh, kind of a smaller version of our cantina bar here. And I have an area light that is casting light through this opening in the roof. So that's the only light source in the scene. In the outliner, I have a polygon plane called Portal. If I unhide it, you can see it right here. The normals are facing inwards. So the normals are going into the room. And I've applied a portal material to the surface. So you can create a portal material here in the Octane Materials section right here. Uh, if I select the portal material, there's not a whole lot of options. It really only has one purpose, and that is to increase the efficiency of rendering in situations such as this. You wanna make sure that you don't have any glass surfaces or any other polygons blocking the uh, portal surface. You wanna keep your portal surface as low poly as possible. You can have one surface stretch over multiple um, windows in a scene. Uh, but you don't want to overdo it. You want to kind of find the balance between the right number of portal surfaces uh, and uh, the efficiency of the scene. But that's basically how you use the portal material in Octane for Maya. 